Well, hello there, my incredibly sexually attractive viewer watching this video. My name is Zeno from Xenotech, and as always, don't look at my Activate Windows or my messy desktop. And yeah, I do have a pretty cool wallpaper. Now, in this video, we're going to be building a $400 um, waifu gaming PC. Because it seems like every time I use a component from AliExpress that has a, um, a, a, a 2D anime woman on it, you, you, you guys go batshit insane. So, yes, we're going to be making one of these. Featuring many, many 2D anime women for you guys. For this price point, probably one of the best CPU deals out there right now is the AMD Ryzen 5 1600 on AliExpress. Um, I recommend buying only from the CPU top store. They have really, really good reviews, and they are a verified store from AliExpress. They have relatively good shipping times, and they have a variety of different CPUs. You can even get stuff like a Ryzen 3 1200 for, I believe they had one for like, $14 once, which is like a really, really freaking good deal for a Ryzen 3 1200. But we're not talking about the 1200. We're talking about the Ryzen 5 1600. It's a really, really basic CPU. It gets the job done. It performs great. I would not recommend pairing this CPU with anything higher than an RTX 2060 or RX 5700 XT. As long as you pair it with anything under that, it is a great little budget chip that will get you on the AM4 platform and give you plenty of reliable performance and give you a great upgrade path on the M4 platform in the future. Next up, if you know anything about buying CPUs from AliExpress, they do not come with CPU coolers 90% of the time. So we're going to be getting a just a, you know, a stock AMD Wraith Stealth cooler for $7 on Amazon. Oh, as you can see, I purchased this a lot. This isn't even my main Amazon account. It's a really basic cooler. It gets the job done. It looks pretty clean on its own, but what most people do, including myself, is they can you can take off this little plastic ring on the outside and spray paint it any color you want for like an extra, what, like four or five bucks for the spray paint can. So if you do that cool mod, which I would personally do if I'm making this build, um, I'm going to be spray painting it white and I'm going to have a blue stripe kind of if you could imagine it going in like a triangle like down to the where the AMD logo is kind of like that it'll be like cave in a bit and then like in a bit like that but you'll only see the line on there and over there I think it'll look pretty freaking cool so that's what I'm doing with this bad boy and next up is this is where the waifu parts start coming in we have this um not very well priced. This is kind of weird. It's in a data XPG ROG Strix. So um, I I honest to God could not tell you what you're actually buying here. But we're not necessarily buying this for the performance because you can get so many other kits for less than this. I would have used that other kit from the other video, but there really aren't a lot of other components that complement a white and red waifu aesthetic i guess you know i think it'll look a lot better as well it's rgb too this is about how much money ddo 4 ram was when it first released and came out i don't really feel like paying that price which is why i'm not buying this computer even if i wanted to i can't i'm um we're not talking about me having money issues we're gonna be talking about this b450 motherboard i found from Machinist? Mechanist? Mechanist, I believe? It is a all-white motherboard, which is quite nice. Has two RAM dims. Not the, um... As you can see, it's not the most feature-packed board. I do believe we have some RGB headers on here somewhere. Never mind. There is no RGB headers and no 12 volts. But you know what this is? This is a B450 motherboard. And you know what it will do? It will run our RAM. And it will run our CPU. And it will look pretty cool in the process because it's all white. Also, keep in mind when you're buying motherboards from AliExpress, they do not come with the CMOS battery. Because if you know anything about shipping anything overseas, you can ship batteries overseas. It, it, don't, it doesn't work that way. However, they're pretty cheap. I went to the dollar store and just picked up a two-pack for like, well, a dollar. It's a dollar store. I forgot the specific voltage these guys need to be. I'll put that up on the screen right here for you guys if you're interested in buying a motherboard like this. Moving on to the case. We're using the Sama ARGB Q5, which is a very nice, reliable case. I use this specific case for my Volt build on my website. I most definitely need to get some better pictures on that build because we still have the other one with the DIY PC Q3 case, I believe that was. But either way, if you want a brand new PC for around $600, the cheapest all new pre built computer you can find on the market. Today, not refurbished, no used components, no bullshit. Highly recommend checking it out right there. But 
we're going to be putting this case on these these absolutely lovely icy blue rgbs right here which look absolutely amazing on this case for only 54 dollars you really can't complain another thing i did find was these um stickers they're stickers i noticed these while looking for cases on aliexpress before realizing that um aliexpress is has a terrible terrible pc case market um and i realized that they're the same exact character as these um a data xpg spectrix rog strix uh ram person so same exact person i'm pretty sure uh they're the same uh yeah look it looks like her she, she looks the same um but you can put her on your pc case can't put her on the front panel that won't work but glass panels and the back behind the case that could work um, I would put these in for, I put these in for $16 in the budget, but you can, like, change the size if you want. You can get one that's, like, freaking two by two feet long. I have no idea what kind of case you'd put that on. You know, you can do this if you want. It's kind of like an optional thing if you just want to keep going with, like, blue anime waifu theme, I guess. And speaking of blue anime waifu things and, um, themes and graphics cards, we have this used, um, I don't know why... It's 2023. We have a used RX 580, which is the 8 gigabyte. Um, it looks, it appears to be a used, um, maybe a Dell or HP OEM gaming card that they added. They, I don't know if they laser printed these designs on there or if they're decals or whatnot, but they do have backplates. They don't show them on any of these. I do not know why. Um, it, it would be really nice to show them. But there is a review right here. This is a Gundam one, and it has a backplate. It looks pretty cool. I don't know what the other ones are, are like. Um, now, there is another. Op there is an option for a red graphics card. I could have paired it with that other red RAM kit I found um, in the last video, but it's not the most um, YouTube-friendly graphics card. So if you want to swap that out, if, then you, if you, I don't know. If you're one zesty motherfucker and you want to swap this thing out, Sure, so be it, but I'll probably be using one of these two because they're, they're blue and they're a graphics card and it works. The rest of these components are just going to be performance components like this Team Group MP33 512GB uh, SSD, this M.2 SSD. I do not recommend buying any SSDs from AliExpress. I explained this in one of my previous videos. There's a lot of false advertising for SSDs in particular. Power supplies, you can barely even read them. You, like, you, you can barely even read what the how you're buying so i don't really recommend buying something you can't read out loud and speaking of power supplies i would recommend using the msi mag a 550pn you could also get like a higher wattage one if you want better upgradability but for the most part this will still run your system just fine or if this one's unavailable you can maybe try to get the previa prestige they have a 600 watt unit that goes for around 50 dollars sometimes i've seen it on sale for around 45 ish dollars if you want to go pick one of those guys up these are both great power supplies rated c plus tier on uh the ltt psu list i think the msi mag is actually if i'm correct i believe this is a b tier unit um i'm not entirely sure about that though i haven't checked the list in a while and the last component not performance but a aesthetic component is this formula mod um cable extension kit for 27 dollars on amazon uh, you can go with any other blue one you want. There is this other one that has more lighter blue colors if you want. I think the white, blue, and black looks a little bit better. Now that I think about it, these ones might look better. Any of these cable mods, or really any cable mod you want. Because if you're buying this thing, you don't got to listen to me. You could, you, you got to listen to your freaking bank account. You got to listen to what you crave, what you desire, what you want your gaming PC to be. And after all those components, your final price is $438. Do I recommend buying this gaming PC? Maybe. If you really, really, really are obsessed with having a waifu-themed gaming PC, um, sure, I guess it's worth spending an extra $100 for components that are significantly overpriced. Um, if you really think spending an extra $100 for this stuff is worth it, comment down below. You can pretty much make this same exact system for $300. I did make this system for $300 on one of my previous videos. Want to go check that out. Do you think the price is justified for what you're getting? Uh, be sure to comment down below. Tell me if you think um, it is worth an extra $100 to have a blue 2D anime person on your computer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. That's why I'm asking you guys. Um, and as always, you guys have a 
great and beautiful day, and don't look at my activate windows.